yes this is another question that we want to go through so that we do it we are dealing with cash book remember cash book is just a transaction which is based on cash transaction um, we have a question here on April 1st 2017 best store cash book showed a debit balance of cash 1550 Kenyan shillings so this Kenyan shillings Kenyan shillings um, yes so Kenyan shillings and 13 1575 those are bank during the month of April the following business was transacted you are required to prepare a cash book now this question doesn't tell you which kind of cash book you are supposed to prepare but let's go through the question April 2017 on 2nd purchase office typewriter for cash 750 Kenyan shillings uh, Cash sales was 1,315. Deposit cash 5,000 to bank. Received from A. Hussein a check for 2,550 in bad payment of his account not deposited. Paid by check for merchandise purchase worth 1,005. Deposit into bank check received from A. Hussein received from customer a check for 775 in full settlement of his account not deposited which was valued at 100 1000 sold merchandise suite pros for 1500 who paid by a check which was deposited into bank paid creditor Salman 915 by check Deposited into bank check of customer worth 775 was dated 22nd April. Paid wages by cash 500 and salary 1000 by bank. Through for bank, through from bank for office use 250 and personal use 150. You are required to prepare a cash book. Now, the nature of the question determines which kind of cash book you are supposed to prepare. So, from the nature of this question, we are supposed to prepare a three column cash book. Remember, there are three, no, four types of cash book. We have one column cash book, two column cash book, three column cash book, and petty cash book. But in this question, we are interested in preparing the three column cash book. So we start our transaction. So we are told on on 1st April showed a debit balance. So a debit balance should be in the debit side. So we bring it here on 1st April uh, 2017. We have balance. Let me write balance brought down, which is how much? Cash was 1550 and bank was 13,575. On 2nd purchase office typewriter for cash 750, cash sales 1. So there are two transactions here there is purchase and there is sales of goods. So there is purchase of typewriter. So purchase means payment. So on second, on second April 2017, uh, I can write purchase. It was through cash. Um, by cash 750. At same second, there is sales. So that means money is coming in. So that is part of the receipt. 2nd April, so you write sales, then how much was sold? 13.50 by cash. 
on 7th deposit cash 500 to bank now when there is a deposit of money into bank contra entry will take place meaning it will affect the receipt side and payment side so on 7th we are experiencing contra entry which will write cash um, deposit cash so cash and then you write abbreviation c c means it's a contra entry transaction and then you put it in bank this is where money is going 500 and then in the payment side you write again 7th april 2017 there is a contra entry you write bank this is where money is coming from and then you write c meaning it is a contra entry how much 500 so remember when you deposit cash contra entry will take place then on 10th receive from a hussein a check for 2550 in part payment of his account not deposited receive from a a check for 2250 in part payment of his account not deposited so this transaction is only in the hand of hussein but it's not in the bank so what we do we'll just come here and write uh, receive a check so on on 16th um, so there is a receive of a check what um, so you come and write the same check of how much 2000 550 paid by check for merchandise purchase worth 1005 payment so that is on 16th by check 2017 uh, paid by check for merchandise so that is purchase of goods what how much 1005 now if you continue in the same manner this is what you will arrive at so in other words we are saying paid by check merchandise purchase worth 1005 on 20 deposit into bank the check received from a hussein so on 20th there is now depositing of a check so you do the depositing of a check which was received from Hussein 1000 no 2500 and then on 22nd received from customer check for 775 in full settlement so here we will experience um, we will experience what you call discount so there is a discount here because you are depositing a check so on 22nd receive from customer check for 775 in full settlement of account not deposited which was valued at so you have on 22nd oh okay 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 so we need to feature this so on 22nd so let me correct that Inside it all. So we are inserting a row above, not below. Inside a row. So it is above. So on twenty second. 
April 2017 um, receive from customer check in full settlement so there is let me write just customer or I can write data because this is a customer so it becomes a data a check worth how much 775,000 with a discount of how much with the discount of or oh, not deposited okay okay I see the point so it was not deposited so that check is still bending so we move so the statement here is not deposited sold merchandise sweet bros for 1500 who paid check with which was deposited into bank again this is a contra no this is not a contra entry this is a check so we can check on 24th 24th they sell 1500 and then 26 paid credit salma 915 so you're paying a creditor salma 915 that is clear on 28 deposit into bank the check of customer of what 775 was dated 22nd so there is now depositing of the check on 28 now this is not sell but call it data it was a data so data 775 and then we have paid wages by cash 500 salary 1000 by check salary wages cash salary a thousand and then through from bank for use again here you must be very careful when you withdraw for business use is different from withdrawing for private use so is withdrawing for business use 250,000 this will create contra entry so bank C 250 which is coming to cash when you go to payment side cash C contra entry 250 from where from bank then for personal use when you are withdrawing for your own personal use a scenario is different so that creates a drawings account so drawings 150 so we have prepared a three column cash book so that's how to prepare a three column cash book then total the debit side total the credit side in the cash column you total the debit side you total the credit side you realize that the debit side is more than the credit side so you have a debit balance which is 1365 total the debit side for bank column debit credit side for bank column the balance you get when you total we are getting again the debit side is more than the credit side so you get a debit balance 15580 now when you come to discount you must Take note of this you just total don't balance it is a nominal account all nominal account are total not balance so you just total we have 25 total 25 and that is it that brings us to the end of preparation of three column cash book three column cash book let me show the complete presentation of three column cash book and that is it thank you and enjoy your day